What is up YouTube? How's it going? Have a good day, evening, night, depend what time you're watching this video. As long as you're here, watching it, it's always appreciated and you know it. Welcome back to the Kinect Show. I'm Michael Prosam and I got a banger just for you. It's about Resident Evil Reverse. Uh, last time I mentioned um, my top 8 favorite uh, main weapon in Resident Evil Reverse. This time I'm going for my top 8 favorite um, pistol in Resident Evil Reverse. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into it. You're gonna see some uh, gameplay in the background while I'm talking about the pistols. Uh, just to let y'all know, all the games that you're about to watch were all played in the Erupt server. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. So I'll see y'all in the video. So as for number eight as my favorite pistol, uh, it's my least favorite pistol in the game. It's the Matilda from uh, Leon Kennedy. Um, reason is, I don't know why, like, maybe I'm bad with it or whatever, but I feel like it's so weak, I cannot do, like, super well with it. It, it, it have it potential, even if you use, a, like, a bill or whatever, but I don't know, I'm not a big fan of the Matilda. Like, it's, it's the gun I use the less whenever, uh, I play, uh... Leon, I try to avoid using the Matilda unless I'm forced to because like uh, long range, but or, and I, I'd rather use the um, the dual wheel pistols. They're way stronger than this Matilda, but I've done some good game with it either way. But it's definitely not my favorite. Uh, if I could avoid, if I can't avoid using the Matilda, I definitely will. So that's gonna be my number eight. As a number 7, we got the GL7, which is like 3 of the Goon Squad have this pistol. Uh, K Tundra, Night Owl, and K9. And I, I assume even Lobo. They all have uh, the, the, the same pistol, so there's nothing fancy about this. It's not that great. It's, it's definitely something, but it's definitely not that great. Uh... It have a lot of bullet in in the clip, which is kind of kind of cool, but that makes the pistol kind of weak, cause it it's not that strong of a pistol. I'm not a big fan of it. The this even the sound, I don't know. I'm not not liking it. There's a lot of better guns and pistol in the game that sounds way better, and I barely use it anyway. And whenever I play the 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 goon squad. I end up using their S rifle more than their pistol unless I'm forced to. So that's another one of those that I, if I can avoid, I'll just not use it. But and when I'm forced to use it, because in situation, because I'm out of ammo, I'll definitely will, because I have no choice. But GL7 basic pistol. Uh, I think basically by default, I have like 17 bullets in the clip, but can pump it up for like maybe 20 something. It's for me, it's not that great. But if you have a build focus on it, it can do something. But I, I don't know. There's way better pistol out there. That's why it's a uh, number seven. As for number six, and all the pistols are gonna come from, uh, from starting from here, uh, are all pistol I actually enjoy playing with. But this is a uh, number six, the MUP from uh, Unk. Uh, it's a very satisfying uh, pistol to use. It's not like the greatest, but it's satisfying to use. The sound of it's kind of kind of pretty. It's not the, like the greatest thing, but uh, I just just literally uh, today or a couple days ago, I played on with just a pistol, and I kind of like just forgot how enjoyable it is to play with, and just you know shoot uh, stuff with it. I got a build focus on the MUP pistol, and it does a very good job either way. Like, I don't have a good set in terms of like gun sounding in the Resident Evil Reaver. That's why it's kind of awesome for that. But there's w there's way better pistol out there for for my opinion, and that's why it, this is number six. As number five, we got the Room HC from Ada Wong. Uh, it's a small pistol. By default, it's kind of bad. It's pretty much a bad pistol by default because the crossbow is absolutely freaking OP. But if you have a bill focus on it, 
it actually can do a very pretty good job. If you know what you're doing with Ada and you use the pistol only and have a build around it, it's it's a very good pistol. It's underrated. A lot of people hate on the pistol, but I tend to prove some people wrong with that one. I go in with Ada and I just do pistol only and I actually do better than some players that play crossbow Ada. That's why I'm like, dude, why don't you use a pistol only Ada? It's kind of more fair and more fun in my opinion. I always said that playing crossbow Ada for me is way too broken and way too not, not that fair. It's funny because I say that because I play Claire and Claire is kind of broken if you use the queen and everything. But the point is, uh, Ada, I don't know, the fact that you can stun people from across the map and like they have nearly nothing they can do except just taking their death for me is way too much. That's why when I play Ada, I play her most likely like 95% of the time I play her only with her pistol. And it does a very good job, it's more fair, and it's actually more fun for me. So, everyone's winning at the at the end of the day, because I'm not doing a very OP uh, Ada game, and I'm playing fair, and I'm having fun, and it's fair for everyone. That's what I think it's pretty cool for that. So that's my number 5 for you. My number 4 is uh, the M851 GQ Custom Pistol from Umber Eyes. Gee, at first this pistol, I didn't know what to think about it. This like, by default, there's like not a lot of bullet in a clip. There's like what seven? It's not a lot, but there's something about this pistol. The sound it makes when it shoots for me, it's everything. Here, let, let me show you guys. Look at the sound of that. Sounds so powerful. There's something about this the sound of this pistol that makes me like, oh my god, this looks so cool. It's literally two shots on the head. If it's fully like critical like this, two shots. 402 damage. On the body it's like four shot. If it's fully charged, three shots. So like this pistol is very, very, very strong. Yeah, this pistol is very, very strong. It does so much damage. Of course, you have to have good aim, but if you do headshots on it, it's guaranteed two hit to one, three hit, and it's guaranteed to be a kill. It's freaking uh, powerful. Uh, both the the, um, the sniper and the pistol are very powerful for Umber Eyes. The thing is, he's slow. He's loud, which I don't understand why, but. His arsenal is pretty strong. My this this pistol, the, the just the sound for me, it's everything. That's why it's my number four. If it wasn't for like the po the powerful of it and the sound of it, it probably would have gone like seven. But number four is a very good spot for this pistol. Very under underused and very underrated for me, from my point of view. Okay, for this next tree. They're pretty equal in my opinion, but I have to, to split up the um, the the ranking because I have to. But they are my three favorite by far. But as number three, I'll put the Kujo Army from Claretville, and I'll tell you why. It's the main weapon I use, so I know pretty much everything about that freaking pistol. It's the strongest pistol of the game, but there's only one thing that makes it kind of painful to use. Not really painful, but annoying to use uh, for the user, and as for the only one reason, it goes number three as my f uh, top three favorite. It's because Claire aims at the 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 pistol like if she was from a, an old uh, Western movie or whatever. She or lower, she aims it lo at her, from her lower waist, and basically when you aim, like and there's like a plank or whatever, a barricade. That's like next to her, and your crosshair actually is on point with the person. But because she's aiming the pistol lower, when you shoot, it ends up not shooting the person. It ends up shooting the fucking plank and the the barricade. So you have to adapt your angle and your distance with the pistol, so you can actually like do uh, the damage that you know need to be done. The same thing as the. 
as the the Umber Eye Pistol, it's pretty much three shot to by default, not even not, not even coin. The the the, the Umber Eyes was focus bill from the pistol. On Claire, I don't use the focus bill on the pistol. It's pretty much the same kind of damage. It's pretty much tr uh, two to three shot on the head, and it's like three four shots by default on someone if it's fully charged. Otherwise, if you spam, it's the entire clip of six bullets or like just three if it's on the headshot but yeah but it's, it's definitely the strongest pistol in the game because claire shoots it like it's a machine gun and since she's rolling and she instantly reloads so she can just fast shoot so many bullets in like a short amount of time of time and since it's my main, I have, like put a little uh, favorites is um, and hard on it, but I have to stay realistic. That's why I decided to put it number three because of the fact that she aims lower the the pistol. So basically, uh, it makes it's kind of hard to play around some angle in some places, unlike some other pistol that people aim it like a pistol. <laughs> But I don't. I don't see Claire aiming like a, a a revolver the way she 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 like other people aim their their handgun because it kind of makes sense for her to aim it lower so she can just like trigger the the thing for shooting fast. So, but it's a very good pistol. It's like like I said the 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 best uh probably the best on the game. Like people play Claire if they play MQ11. They they most likely not knowing their the 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 ability of Claire because it's all about the quick draw army with Claire, unless you have a build focus on them killer, which is different. Anyway, that's my number three for you guys. Like I said, the, the for the, the the three the the next three was super close in terms of ranking, but these two is definitely the closest. But I have to give the number two to, to uh, the USM AI uh, pistol from Chris Redfield. Uh, it's definitely like a good it's a very good pistol and the sa the satisfying sound of shooting a pistol with a silencer I don't know there's something with it that makes me like oh it's so good and only Chris have a silencer pistol so that's pretty unique for that and it's very strong it's very uh, accurate it's very good and it's pretty powerful for a silencer pistol so there's not much to say about it except that it got a silencer the sound is so satisfying you're in a little pew 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 and just people getting down so silent and yet so deadly it's pretty powerful it's pretty strong and it goes well with the, the with, with, with what Chris Redfield became in the series so yeah number two for me it's definitely this pistol all right, last and not least, the f number one, my favorite pistol in reverse. Like I said, it could have been one of the three I named uh, before, but the Samurai Edge from Jill R uh, Valentine. There's something iconic about this pistol that I just cannot not go uh, anywhere without mentioning it. It's such an iconic pistol, and yet so good. Like I said, everything about Jill's, uh, Jill Valentine's uh, arsenal is so balanced. You can go pistol build, you can go AR build, and it does so much work. The Samurai, uh, Samurai Edge shoot fast if, it fo if it's build focus. It does so much damage, and it reloads super quick. Like everything with the Samurai Edge, it's so powerful, it's so good. I, I, it's like I will say it, and I said it countless time. If it wasn't for the fact that I made Claire, the, my main probably would be Jill Valentine in re the reverse. Because it's pretty much one of the most fun character to play, because it's the most balanced. You can do literally anything. It change your play style, and it's still gonna work. Jill Valentine is the best character in Resident Evil Reverse in terms of balancedness and fun. There's nothing to say about that one. It's the um, so that just says a lot. Her CQBR was my first favorite, my top favorite weapon, and now her pistol became my favorite pistol. So like. It just makes sense. It's not like I don't like the other pistol. I don't like the other character. It's just that there's something about these that makes that, that I just enjoy playing with. Nothing much to say about that. More. 
all right guys thanks for watching this video i hope you, I hope you agree with my top eight and uh, like i said it's my opinion whether you like it or not it is what it is but i still i i, I enjoy playing with all the these pistol except the metal and the gl7 pretty much but all of the others uh, i pretty much enjoyed um the the pistol uh, the, their weapon, their pistol, because I, I, I played the Nuzlocke, so I played with pretty much everything possible, so I know what it is about. Anyway, thanks for watching this uh, this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this type of content, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and if you have any suggestions for Reverse or any game in general, I'll stay true whenever I can, if I can. Until then, enjoy this uh, the end of the video, which is uh the end of the game and i'll see you on the next one peace